right onto Death Road. Are you sure this is the right place? Oh, please. Am I ever wrong? Well, I mean, there was that time where you drove us off the Grand Canyon. In my defense, I didn't have a GPS then, so I didn't know where to go. Well, you could have just had the common sense to, like, you know, not drive off a cliff. Meh. It came out of nowhere. And look, we're still here. Alrighty, we're here. Better get some sleep. That night, when Bob was sleeping, he heard a weird sound. What is that? Who's there? Bob looked around, but saw nothing. Eh, it's probably just a bear. Not as bad as that huge rabbit that ate our dog. The next morning, Bob told his wife about the incident that happened the night before. I tell you, someone was walking around outside. I heard it. I bet you're just hearing things, honey. That night, Bob heard the same sound that he had the night before. When he walked outside to see who it was, he saw a dead mouse on the ground, bloody and stone cold. He decided to bury the mouse and say goodbye forever. The next morning, Bob told his wife about the dead mouse. Honey, I tell you, there's some murder out there every night. All right, sweetie, I'll sleep downstairs tonight. I'm going to see for myself. I'm going to catch that murderer, whether they like it or not. That night, Bob and his wife both heard the same footsteps. When they went outside to catch the murderer, they looked down and saw... a cat? With a sad look on their faces, Bob and his wife went back inside. I really thought we were going to catch a murderer. Suddenly, the cat was right behind them in their trailer. Bob and his wife were never seen again. <laughs>